Hi, it's Brielle with Seabird Solutions, and I'm so excited to say that today we have Mahima here with Mini Orange. Hi. Hi. Um, we're going to be talking today about bulk user management, and I would love if you can kind of give us an overview. Yes, yes, definitely. So I'm Mahima from Mini Orange, and I work as a senior business analyst there. Um, basically, I talk to a lot of partner, customer, gather requirements, and fulfill those requirements by communicating it to my development team and, you know, uh, make the features and the app available in the marketplace for them. Um, so we are a cybersecurity expert uh, and we have been in the market since more than eight years now. We have applications like SSO, MFA, and we are a quite popular vendor in terms of cybersecurity apps. Now, uh, we have also expanded our solutions to cloud from data center. Mm. So for cloud, we have an app called Bulk User Management, which basically focuses on uh, saving license cost and admin's time for managing the users effectively. Beautiful. Do you kind of mind going over the main features of how exactly this app works? Yes, yes. So basically, the main features of the app are uh, automatically deactivating the users based on their last login time. So mm. let's say if you have uh, 200 users and only 50 of them are actually using the Jira, but you're paying for the licenses for 150 users unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. So with the help of Bulk User Management plugin by Mini Orange, you can just uh, deactivate the users based on their last login time. Let's say if they have not um, used Jira since last 30 days, they will be de de deactivated automatically with the help of the plugin. You can also perform bulk operations like deactivating in bulk, um, deleting the users in bulk based on groups as well, based on username. And uh, this can be performed for managed user as well as external users. Awesome. Do you kind of mind showing us exactly how this works? I know this yes. is definitely a needed app. It helps, you know, alleviate the license costs. Yes. Um, curious, though, can you set, like, custom times? So I know you said, like, 30 days. Can you set it to be, like, six months or yes. it's all customizable? Yes, like it can be customized according to your uh, wish. If you want it to be 15 days, 30 days, 90 days, whatever mm -hmm. you want it to be, it can be set up that Beautiful. way. Yeah. Awesome. Do you mind showing us how, how this works? Yes, definitely. So this is the main page of the plugin. Uh, as you can see, Mini Orange Bulk User Management plugin uh, for cloud. Uh, so these are the various tabs. Uh, in order to configure uh, the app, the first step would be configure token. So here we will put the admin's email address and an API key and a token. All the steps are mentioned here. This is mandatory in order to perform any operations on the users mm -hmm. because we would need admin's um, uh, credentials. So that is why we have uh, saved the configuration. And once this is done, you're good to go and manage your users with the help of the plugin. So you can manage your users based on various um, uh, filters like username, groups, managed accounts. And then you can also perform various actions on this users, reactivate, deactivate, or delete those users. So let's just see, um, I would filter by username and let's say I want to um, deactivate any test user. I'll search for it. Okay, so you see, these are the various users that you have. I will just select um, the ones that I want to suspend. So let's say I want to suspend uh, the licenses for uh, user five and user six. So I'll just click on suspend. Uh, it is just, yeah, so user is successfully suspended and uh, if when I want to, uh, you know, do it in bulk, I'll just select the action suspend and I will apply it. So all hmm. the three users are suspended in just one click. Very cool. Since these are external users, we are able to suspend them. But if the users are managed users, we can also deactivate them. So uh, I guess... Uh, the difference between managed users and external users is that managed users have verified domain and the external yeah. users don't have verified domain with uh, the organization. So I can deactivate the managed users, but I can just suspend the uh, external users from that specific instance. So see, you can check that all the three users are suspended uh, from the app. You can see the status is act, uh, inactive. You can also perform reactivation on these users. Um, yeah, so you can also perform reactivation on the user. 
after that we have groups so based on the groups if you have a specific group let's say you have test group 4 and you want to deactivate or perform any action on all those users then you can also do the same oh oops So this group have only one user as of now, but if you have multiple users, you can just select them and perform any action that you want, deleting, reactivating or deactivating in that manner. So I'll just suspend it for now. Yes, so user is successfully suspended. So basically these are the filters uh, that can be used. So this is managed account. I would just like to um, you know deactivate this user since this is a managed user I can deactivate so I'll click on deactivate and the user is deactivated successfully so you can see you can select multiple users as well at once and uh, you know perform actions on that so this is the um, like three main filters these are the three main actions which is deleting reactivating and deactivating you can also add them to the group or remove from uh, remove them from the group let's say you want to perform some action uh, and you also want to deactivate as well as remove them from a specific group so you can also do that with the help of this plugin awesome and i'm curious so when you um delete a user are they deleted forever or is there a way to reactivate them after deletion uh, so if you deactivate a user you can reactivate that user uh, from the plugin and if the user is uh, just a user not a managed account then you will have to go to uh, atlassian's user management and then uh, reactivate that user from there okay yes so from here you can do that we are into users and let's say um, i deactivated um, I guess I deactivated one of those users like test mo. So I'll just click on that and I'll just, um, you know, uh, you can just uh, add them to the group or um, I think this, this was not the user that I deactivated, but um, I guess it was actually, um, I just have to check which user I deactivated, but it can be reactivated okay. from the um, user management of your, see, you can see, I deactivated this user, right? Mm -hmm. Krishna user. So I'll just click on that and um, Uh, here it is the option to reactivate the account. Oh, okay, so right about the top. And this account will be reactivated. You can see. Beautiful. Yes. So the next uh, feature that we have is auto deactivation. This was something that we were doing as per our filters. Auto de deactivation is something where we can set the number of days, as I mentioned, and we can deactivate, it, deactivate them um, regularly. So uh, you can see there is an option for uh, removing the users from application like Jira, Jira Service Desk, Confluence, Bitbucket. So you can choose anything that you want. If you want to remove someone from Jira, you can choose from here. Set the number of days, that's 90 days. And if you want to um, remove the users from the group as well, you can do that from here. I want to remove the user from Jira default group. And there is also one more option to remove never logged in user. Mm -hmm. Suppose you have the access, but you have never logged in. So I'll just choose this one also. So all the users who fall under this category will be deactivated automatically by running the scheduler. It runs every day mm -hmm. as per the atlation. And if you want to run it right now, you can just submit and click on run scheduler now and the users will be deactivated based on the timings and the filters that you have set. Then we can also for uh, this was for managed users and for suspended users uh, we can also from here we can also set uh, the number of days and if you want to exclude someone 
uh, from deactivating, you can also do that. So let's say um, you have some people who uh, don't regularly log into Jira, but they actually use like uh, the senior higher ups, like CEO or CEO. They don't regularly log into Jira, but you don't want to remove their access, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. So for that, we have given an option that enter group's name to be excluded. So group that I'll select here. To, so the users that are in that specific group won't be removed or won't be deactivated. So it's basically like whitelisting the groups mm -hmm. and not removing them from the uh, uh, users. Then we have email notifications. So if you are deactivating someone or suspending someone or deleting someone, you would like them to know it beforehand. So you'll mm -hmm. send an email to them saying that you have not logged in since last 30 days or 90 days and we will deactivate you in uh, X, Y, Z days. So if you want to take an action, you can do that. Hmm. Very cool. Same, if you, if you are removing someone from any specific software like Jira, Confluence, or Bitbucket service management, so again, you can notify them via email beforehand that this is going to happen, so that in case they want to use it, they can reach out to you or they can just log in. Okay. Yeah. Right. Then we have an option for CSV where you can upload a CSV and perform various action. So this is the option to export the CSV file. You can just export any CSV. And there are a lot of actions that can be done. So let's say you have been invited to Jira, but you have not accepted the invitation yet. Like you've been invited since last 90 days. That is a scenario that mostly happens uh, when we onboard people. So let's say we have onboarded 100 users, uh, sorry, 100 employees, but only um, 70 of them joined the company. The rest 30 of them did not join, but you have created the access in Jira for them. So there is an option that based on the invitation date, you can deactivate those users. Then there are various options that can be performed if you want to remove user from specific group in Jira, Confluence, it can be done. And then we have an option for import users. So if you want to import users in one click, you can just select this. You can import the users and you can uh, just uh, tell what fields in the sheet are for email ID. Let's say uh, email ID should map to email ID and group to groups. If you have any other name mm -hmm. that you put in the sheet, like suppose if you have uh, put the name as group name, so you can just put your group name. Right now my CSV contains email and groups. So once this is done, then I'll click on next. Now you have imported the users, but what do you want to do with that users? Do you want to create those users in Jira? Do you want to add the users to the groups? Or do you want to create a new group if they're already not present in that specific group? Hmm. So all of these users can be created, added to the groups, and various actions can be performed from here. Uh, I think we are on the last uh, tab which is audit logs. So basically, uh, this tells us that what is going on. If we run the scheduler, uh, so we can see, let's say I run the scheduler, we can see that this user was deactivated successfully. Hmm. So basically from here, you can keep a track which user was deactivated when and uh, what exactly uh, happened on which date. So this can be done from here. And like uh, there are various steps, you can check it out here. So. In short, this was about the user management plugin. It is mainly uh, reducing the admin's manual work and also saving a lot of license cost for you. And you like you won't need to um, take additional user tier for your licenses. If you just free up the licenses which are already not being used by your employees or your uh, users, then definitely uh, it will be a win-win situation. It also saves time and license cost as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for the overview. We'll go ahead and make sure we drop a link for like a demo if they have any further questions. Yes. And uh, really appreciate you being here today. Yeah, thank you so much. It was great meeting you. You as well. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you. you.